If you want to do any business online, you must know how to run Facebook ads. This is because Facebook ads is going to be important for you to reach new customers, to sell their product, to build your business, to build your brand, to drive traffic to wherever you want it to go to. And this is because Facebook is quite popular. And in this video, I want to show you how to run Facebook and Instagram adverts. And this is because Facebook owns Instagram and everybody, but everybody knows that. So the first thing you need to do is to go to the Facebook business manager. There are like three ways you can use to run Facebook ads, but this is the most professional way. And that is coming to this interface here, which is the Facebook ads manager. Alternatively, you have an app from Facebook that you can use to create this advert, or you can even create this advert directly inside of your page. But this interface here gives us a complete control or complete control of what we can do with our advert. So the first step is to go to business.facebook.com. So that is the ads manager um, website and you have to log in there using your regular Facebook account. This means you must have a Facebook account to use or to run Facebook ads. So once you have that sorted, you are going to come to an interface like this. And in your case, you are going to have nothing here because you would not have created any advert. So you want to come here where we have the create button. So you click on create. And from here, you can see the different campaign objectives that Facebook allows us to achieve. So you have different things you want to achieve your advert. So Facebook will help you achieve that. So for awareness, you basically build awareness, just show people your, your products or your business. So they just get to know about it. If you want traffic, you want to send them to a particular place, to a landing page, to an Instagram profile, WhatsApp and stuff. You have engagement. If you want people to engage on your post and like it, drop comments, share it and stuff like that. If you want to generate leads, you want to collect instant forms, you want to receive calls, conversions, then leads will be better for you. If you want to do ads promotion or app promotion, you have an app and you want people to download this app, then you have this one that is usually optimized for app installs and app events. The last one is sales. And this is where most people sell physical products or do e-commerce want to spend most of their time. So you want to select the campaign objective that is going to be useful to you or that will match your goal. In this case, we want to create a traffic campaign because we want to send people to our landing page. So if you click on that, you come here, you click on continue and we'll find ourselves right here. So Facebook wants to help you do everything because we are in the AI era and they want to help you do everything. but. If you're a beginner, you don't want to do that. Now you want to use the manual campaign and then you click on continue. So you come to the campaign level and this is where you need to name your campaign. So this is just for documentation purposes. So I'm just going to call this test adverts. Um, let me just say one. All right. So you, this is basically all you need to do here and you come here, you click on next. So once you go to the ad set level, where we want to start creating our adverts. So again, or our ad set. So you can name this again. You can say test ad, um, ad set. All right. And then you, you want to set your conversion location. So we want to, um, collect traffic from Facebook, but we want, we need to send them somewhere. So again, we can send them to our messaging app, like messenger, Instagram, and WhatsApp can equally send them to Instagram profile. You can um, send them to book a call, but in our case, we want to send them to a website. So we select website. I want to also select the performance goal. So this is where you decide the kind of things you want to get or how you want Facebook to charge you. So Facebook can charge you based on link clicks or unique reach or number of conversions or max, uh, maximize number of impression. In this case, we want landing page views. We want people who land on our page and spend some time on it. So you select that and then you want to come to your budget. This is where you select the budget. You can do a lifetime budget or a daily budget. 
in most cases you would be doing daily budget so from here you set how much you want to pay so you can pay a minimum of one dollar and one dollar is around 1500 naira or thereabout so this is the one this is the list we can go so you can set any amounts not less than this so let's just say we want to do four thousand per day all right so you come here you want to schedule your ad but in most cases you just allow your ad run the moment they approve your ad so you can equally come here and do budget scheduling if you wanted but that's not really important to us but if you wanted to do budget scheduling what it means is that you can decide when your budget should increase or when you should not so we just want to ignore that for now this is where you start doing your um you start picking your audience and you can set the location of your audience so if you come here you can edit it and you can select where you want it to go to let's say we want to target maybe nigeria and ghana you can come here you can write ghana or you can even you can see we have ghana we have different places in ghana you can select uh, maybe the united states or anywhere that you want as long as facebook is there or you can even select places within your um, state you can say lagos and in lagos you can select lagos state nigeria you can select abuja anyone that is okay for you but we are just going to leave it to nigeria because we want to reach the whole of um nigeria so you come here you come to this audience um plus advantage um advantage plus audience so what happens here is facebook is trying to help you um do select the audience but again we don't want that so what we are going to do is um, come here we switch on edit um switch to original audience option and then click on use original audience so what we can do here is if we come down we can start selecting doing our detailed targeting you can come to the age here and you can edit the age you can select whatever age you want so let's say my product scatters for people um from 25 to somewhere around let's say 45 or even 50 so you select this age range so you don't want our advert to spill over all right so you can select the gender if you want so you can edit the gender and say we want just men or women or both of them so this is where you start um adding the kind of interest or the kind of people that you want to reach so you can come here let's say we want to sell maybe cake all right you can come here and search for cake and once you click cake you are going to see this cake based on three things you see them by employees or employers this can be people who own cake or who make cakes and they employ people we have them as interest we have it as a job title and stuff so if you select cake as an interest you want to reach people who are largely interested in cake and you can come here and then you can click on suggestions and you can see other people that are interested in cakes or other um, interests that are related to cakes so you can select as much as you want or even better you can leave it completely naked so you can allow facebook just do the targeting in this case you'll be targeting people using your creative and then your um uh, primary test so i'm just going to remove cake here i'm just going to leave it to be blank but just so you know you can do that if you want it so again you come to the placement again they have something called advantage plus placement and what happens here is that you are giving pay facebook the right to put this this um um your adverts wherever they think is best for you so this is what you should do you come here you edit and then you come here to manual placement all right so once you select manual placements you are you are taking the control to select where you want your ads to show so you can say you don't want the audience network you don't want the messenger um you probably want only instagram or just facebook and on instagram and facebook you can equally select the parts of instagram where you want your adverts to show for instance, maybe we don't want our adverts to show on Facebook Marketplace or every other thing here is fine for us or we don't want it on Facebook right column that's because this is going to appear to people who are on computer. We are basically wanting this to show to people who are largely on mobile, alright? 
So down here you can see stories and reels. You can see you probably do not want any form of reels, so you can uncheck it, or you can select the ones that you want: reels, stories, Instagram profile reels, and all of that. So in stream, you can say we don't want in stream, and we don't watch search result because Facebook is not a search engine, so we don't want to spend our advertising budget there. All right, so you can see that we have finally decided or um, decided on where our adverts to show, which is just on the Facebook feed, Facebook video feed, Instagram feed, and Instagram explore, and so on and so forth. So after that, you want to come to the next phase, but before then, you can see your estimated audience definition, your estimated daily reach, your daily results, your landing page views, and all of that. So you want to click on next, so you go to the next part of the creation, which is the ad level. This is where we want to select our page and then we want to put um, the ad that we want to use. So you come here, you select your page. Your page is usually automatically selected, but if you have more than, if you have more than one page, you can come here, click on it and select the particular page. Also, if you have your Instagram link to your Facebook, it's going to connect immediately and um, you just basically need to select the Instagram account you want if you want this advert to go to Instagram. So for the ad setup, this is where you start selecting your ad creative. You can select to use an existing post from your page or your Instagram account, or you can create an ad. So in this case, we are basically going to create an ad. I want to use the manual upload. So if we want to come down here. We can um, use different things like flexible. So Facebook will be predicting the format they think the advert will perform best, but we want to ensure that we want people to see our um, picture or image. So we are using um, one picture or one video. So we use this one, single videos, single video or image. So if you have in, a need to use more than one, then you can use the carousel. So you can use like 10 pictures or 10 videos for carousels if you want to. So you come down here, this is where you now add the media. So you click on this. This is where you now select the video you want to use or the image you want to use. So if you click on add image, it brings you to your Instagram account and you can find the post you have on your Instagram account and your Facebook page. All right. So you can also upload from, you can also upload from your computer. So you can come here, click on upload and then you can upload anyone that you want. So anything you want here, you can upload. So in this case, I have some uploaded. So I'm just going to select this one and then I'm going to click on next. So they are going to give us a preview. And if you need to crop, depending on the placement you've selected, you can do it from here, but we are fine. So we click on continue. And this is basically how our advert is going to show. So from here, you can see that our advert will show in seven placements, but we want to put a primary test and we can say, depending on what we sell, we can say this is um, a food delivery, um, let's say program. All right. So you want to write a proper um, primary test because this is like the first thing or the second thing people see. So this is actually important but of course you already have what to write so i'm not just i'm not going to cover that part in this video so they equally have a generative test ai that you the they are trying to impose on you but i don't need all of that now if you come here you want to write a headline our primary test is different from our headline so let's turn on our ad preview so we can see what we are working on right here so here you can add a short headline you can see this cover your taste buds all right so your um your header is going to show somewhere on the bottom of your ad so the um, ad preview should come up soon and um, we don't want any of this so you can add a description if you wanted all right so this is really not compulsory then you come here you select the call to action button in this case, since we are selling food, we can say get offer or you can say order now. Um, 
you have different options you can say listing now depending on what you are selling so you have shop now you have subscribe you have watch more you have book more and all of that so you can say get offer and then you come down here and then you want to put your um, URL here. This is where you actually put your landing page link. So I'm just going to put my website link here because remember we are sending traffic to our website. So I'm just going to put my link here and we are basically done. So you can actually add a call extension bot into your website, which can be fine sometimes, but we are basically done. So if you have a pixel, it's going to show here that your um, it's going to show your tracking and everything. So this is a preview of what our advert is going to um, look like. So this is exactly how it's going to look like on the Facebook feed. So the Instagram is going to show somewhere right here. So this is also how it's going to look like on Instagram. So once you are done and you are satisfied with this, you come here, you click on publish and your ad will be sent to review and after review your ad will begin to run so this is basically how you create facebook ads and instagram ads in 2024 i hope this video helps you please like this video if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section i'll be there to answer your question my name is good noel make sure to subscribe i'll see you in my next videos Bye bye